How in the world would you make green fire? Say, I promise I won't do this at home without my parents' permission. I promise. He promises. Wizard handshake on that. You got it. You got it. So don't be messing with this stuff without your parents' permission or you'll be in big trouble, let me tell you. Mm. Green fire. What color is fire normally? Uh, usually it's orange or yellow. Orange or yellow. Yeah, most of the fires we see every day are hydrocarbon based. You know, there's candles mm -hmm. and campfires, fireplace fires, stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And paper when it burns. They're all about the same color and that's because they're carbon based combustion. We want to get a different atom involved that will give off green light when it gets excited instead of the yellow light we're used to. And if you look at the periodic chart, you know, each one of those elements gives off its own color. Yeah. Some of them pretty close to the same, but they're all different. And one that gives off green light when it gets excited is boron. So where would I find some boron? Of course, being the wizard, I just went right to the cupboard and found some boric acid, H3BO3. Okay. See right there? Mm -hmm. So I've got some boron in there and some oxygen and hydrogen, but I've got some boron in there. I'm gonna take some boric acid, and you can get this at the uh, pharmacy. This is not like nitric acid or anything like yeah. that. People use it for different cleaning purposes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take a little pan and put some boric acid in it. And then I've gotta get something uh, to provide heat, something that's gonna burn. And normally I'd use methanol. You heard of methanol? No, yeah, I have not, I have not heard of methanol. Not methanol, you've heard of ethanol. Yes. That's the alcohol that people drink from time to time, I understand, it's mm -hmm. called grain alcohol. Methyl is wood alcohol. Okay. But where are you gonna find methanol easily? You could go to the paint store and buy a can of methanol. Mm -hmm. People use it for finishing wood and stuff. Or you can just go with, down to local uh, convenience store and they've got this additive, antifreeze water remover, and it contains, well, it's mostly methanol, methyl alcohol, and a couple other things. So I'm gonna take some of this methanol source and just pour it in here, and just see what kind of light green flame we can get with a boric acid dissolved. So I'm gonna set this ablaze. Here we go. Ooh, who's the wizard now? I have green fire. Because the boron atoms, when they get excited, you know, will emit photons. Mm -hmm. And they, these happen to be at the frequency of green light. Where else do you think you might find some boron around the house? Borax. Does it say what's in there? Borax is made up of one ingredient with three naturally occurring elements. Boron, sodium, and oxygen. We've got some boron in this here. Okay, let's see it. Let's try it. Oh, looky there, buddy. Got a little yellow though. You see the yellow? Oh, I do that, now. Yeah, yeah, from the sodium, I guess it said it had in there. We're getting some sodium mixed in with the green. The sodium is overpowering the green. Well, that's a dirty trick. And if people want to see more of this, what would they do? Oh, uh, you can go to our most favorite port is the Patreon. Patreon. You can mm -hmm. either look in at Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. And Patreon. our last one is the uh, County Jail. County Jail, you'll find us down there, remnants of when we tried to break out with green fire. Yep. They called us the Green Fire Bandits. Mm. Yeah, we get around.